Welcome back to another video guys. Today's video, let's dive into the news for Ethereum. We've got a lot to cover. If you missed the previous video, I was talking about technical analysis on Ethereum and I see massive things coming for Ethereum, especially in this time of crazy parabolic moves on Bitcoin. I covered the charts over there. So if you want to understand where the price targets are, price predictions, what's going on technically, check out that video. Uh, I'll, I'll check it out briefly in this video. And I also talked about a massive, massive move for all time highs on Ethereum's Google Trend Words, which we'll have a quick look at today. But I did talk in that video in more detail why I think that's so important to keep track of. So without further ado, this is not financial advice. You guys should know that by now, of course. Uh, if you do enjoy the content, of course, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon. That just allows the videos to show up in your notifications for YouTube so you know when the videos are coming out and we follow the journey throughout this bull market and beyond. And of course, like the content, share it with a friend if you think they're going to get some use out of understanding what the hell Ethereum is about and why we should be investing in it. Of course, education only. All right, let's take a look at Ethereum. All right, I'm starting me out on the bottom left hand at the moment because we are looking at Google Trend Words. Now, all you got to do is go to trends.google.com, Google Trends, Ethereum. Check this out. We are at the moment in the process of going to an all time high for uh, Ethereum being a searched word. So United States, of course, <clears throat> 2004 to present. If we do worldwide, let's see what happens there. Worldwide is ballistic. I didn't even put this in the previous video. I only thought to look at worldwide here. That was on US. Uh, we've eclipsed December 2017 and we're just beginning to squash the rest of this data way down because it can only go to 100, remember. So if this continues to rise and rise and rise, we're only going to see 100, but what will happen is the rest of the data will get squashed down. So instead of uh, December 2017 being a, a, a 79 score, maybe it'll be a 40 score or a 20 score, depending on how high or how much, how searched Ethereum is worldwide. So it's being searched worldwide more, can I say that? More than it's being searched in the US because the US data shows us being just above the old all time high. Maybe that has something to do with how much it was searched for in the US previously. Maybe now. All right. So all time highs coming this month for Ethereum, which shows in the chart as well. Now, I think we're probably going to go beyond this all time high by some degree and just start to squash some of that data down. But that's to be seen. All right. Let's have a quick look at the price at the moment. And I'm going to have to move myself and my quick time recording over this side. Ethereum, 134 billion. One, 1166 US dollars. Let's hit refresh, see what we get. We're still above. We are, we're moving up again. How is that possible? Bitcoin 38,800. Market cap 1 trillion, 31 billion, 728 million, 323,765 dollars. I did it. Uh, I went to school. Ethereum on the chart quickly, getting super close to this top. We are currently above and the highest monthly close at the moment, but of course we still have uh, 23 days left of the month. We'll see what happens there. But if you want to know more about this and why I think it looks so bullish, go and check out my technical analysis video. So let's dive into some of the news now. And for Ethereum, crypto asset credit uh, created by DeFi Powerhouse set to surge 10x, says Tyler Swope. Swipes uh, tells his subscribers, da 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 da. Uh, basically, Ethereum is being used in a lot of these tokens that are being created. Obviously, there's a lot of NFTs, non fungible tokens. There is a hell of a lot of DEXs that we see here as well, decentralized finance DEXs. Essentially, everything is being built on Ethereum, and it's not like it's going across to the other platforms either, as much as. I mean, people talking about ADA, Cardano, uh, talking about EOS, which is kind of at that dead point. Cardano is still not there yet. I'm not having a go at it. I think it could be a great trade. I just don't believe they are going to be able to build fast enough to keep up with Ethereum for one and then keep up with Polkadot too. Uh, if we have a look at the, the market cap again, 
Polka Dot is of course under Cardano, but Polka Dot's only been out for how many months? You can tell me five months, six months. Cardano has been around since uh, early 2018 or so. They've been around for years and their progress is so slow, which is fine. Maybe that's what you need in a, in a project to make sure everything is, is clear. But with the, with the adoption of Ethereum being that slow to make sure everything is perfect may not be in their favor, especially when you got projects like uh, Polkadot on your heels that are going to eclipse what you're doing. So that's, you know, if I've got to bet on them, definitely Ethereum, we know that. Uh, Polkadot is high on my list and I don't want to have three different smart contracts, Ethereum, Polkadot, Cardano. I'd rather just have the two. Maybe I will get three in time. But for me, I got rid of EOS and I think it's, it's, it's enough. We got two. Let's see what happens for our third. Tezos was another big player for people. Uh, Tron, we know, is trash. I'm sorry the guys are asking, but it is a scam just like Ripple, but it still will do well, so don't worry. I'm pretty sure people will jump on board of this because it looks so cheap, you know, three cents. Wow, I could maybe it'll be an Ethereum one day and get to $1,000, you know? That's kind of the mindset when it comes to some of those tokens. Next news, crypto trader who called Bitcoin bottom says Ethereum set to skyrocket past all-time highs. I've already looked at that in the charts. I think it's going to skyrocket past all-time highs. So go check out my charts video as to why. And uh, we've also looked at the Google trend words. I mean, you don't even need to go beyond that, really. We're just looking at this to, to amuse ourselves. So uh, amuse ourselves, I should say. All right, crypto whales quietly accumulating Ethereum, says analytics firm Santiment. They've been around a while. I remember the name from previous bull market, Ethereum crossing these levels. Uh, here we go, addresses holding 10,000 plus Ethereum compared to just two months ago. Meanwhile, the amount of addresses holding one to 10,000 ETH have shrunk over this time. So maybe they're just moving those uh, Ethereum out and, and uh, consolidating them into bigger wallets. That is yet to be said. So there are 39 more Ethereum addresses holding that. So maybe that's what they're doing, consolidating a little bit more. People are finding some Ethereum that they had uh, left in different addresses all over the place and bringing it together. But I mean, to build it up to 10,000, that's that's quite quite a lot. I mean, if people were buying Ethereum uh, around its ICO, was it a dollar, three dollars, something like that? It's not too hard to think people putting in 10, 20, 30, 50 grand into an ICO. I definitely remember doing that through 2017. <laughs> Ethereum, whales accumulating ETH as retail sells. This is exactly what happened to BTC at 10 to 13 grand sell off before the blast. 2018, record a peak, 1400. I think we're going to slice through that. What else we got? We have Ethereum spreads its wings, Coindesk quarter four 2020. We've seen that. This is just put out today. Quarter one, market turmoil. Bitcoin goes institutional. This is pretty interesting. Uh, just tells us when the institutions were talking about Bitcoin and basically when they were coming up. So I'll have a look at that later. That was the quarterly report. But essentially from here, uh, Paul Tudor Jones talks about it on May 7th. MicroStrategies goes hard on uh, Bitcoin in August. Square, of course, buys its 50 million later. BlackRock's in Mass Mutual, 100 million. Uh, Skybridge Capital, December 22. They don't tell us how much they've got in there, but they're on here. One River Digital, that's what we talked about in the Bitcoin video before, so 600. So essentially, they're trying to build the picture that, yes, tons of the institutional is going into Bitcoin. Where are they going to go next? They're going to go into Ethereum. You know, that this has been the narrative and is why I, I think it's showing up on the charts before we understand the narrative as well. Ethereum, BTC, high net worth addresses. Where are we going here? ETH, blue. Uh, performance of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and macro assets. So Ethereum has been outperforming Bitcoin, and so it should. It has a lower market cap. They're both going to do quite well. Gold, bonds, S&P, all the way down here. Let's look closer to what's happening today. We've seen Ethereum 2.0. Source past 1 billion worth of ETH. So people have started to transition over to Ethereum 2.0, the new Ethereum, and there's 1 billion worth of ETH locked up there, which then takes the supply off the market here. So we're probably gonna get that supply issue as well in Ethereum. That's $1 billion, not 1 billion ETH, because there's only 100 something million, 114 million circulating supply. All right, so let's move on. Two reasons analysts say Ethereum may replicate Bitcoin's 2016 bull run. 
combination of Metcalfe's law, strong technical structure, like we've talked about in the technical video, rising user activities could fuel ETH's momentum throughout the ongoing rally. So this was a couple of days ago now. We can see the, the pullback, and I think that is the final little load up before we explode from that high. Uh, Raul Pal, it's all about Metcalfe's law. According to Powell, the price of ETH is the same as Bitcoin in 2017. With the same market cap, if ETH follows the same trajectory as Bitcoin, it could see a significant rally in the long term. Whether this will happen or not remains uncertain, but Powell emphasizes the strong similarities between the two. So we get to the all-time high. Bitcoin went from its 1,000 top to 3,000, pulled back to 1,800, and then took off. So its all-time high was about 1,100, made it to close to 20 grand. Let's call it round and say it's a 20x. 20x from Ethereum's top 1,000 to 20,000. However, the uh, the market caps weren't as they weren't the same. Same mark. He's saying it's the same market cap. I yeah. I don't think that's where where Bitcoin started from. To be honest, it didn't start from a hundred and thirty four million dollar market cap until it took off to its its peak. Its peak was eight hundred billion there, and it did a twenty x. Therefore, twenty off that. I think it started around forty billion. If I'm doing my my maths correctly there, at, at a glance, bringing this back. Let's have a look. Market cap twenty billion. So nineteen billion. Call it twenty, and then its top was around uh, market cap three oh, 300 billion. The overall market cap peaked at 800 billion. That's what I remember from that market. All right, cool. So 20 billion up to 300 billion. They, there you go. So it didn't start from a base of 100 billion. I don't know what that is about there. And he's talking about the price of ETH, yeah, but not the same market cap. All right, uh, Pal explained the similarities, likely coming from Metcalfe's law. So Metcalfe's law, Metcalfe's law, there's the narrative here. What happens next to ETH? Transitions to ETH2, important to ensure that the DeFi ecosystem continues to prosper. DeFi, I've done a video on that. We've got a couple of coins in there. I wanna elaborate a little more on the, on the DeFi space as well because that has been the narrative throughout 2020 and I expect it to continue through 2021. So those tokens, those coins are probably gonna do quite well as well. It's just a matter of finding the ones that are going to explode. And I think at this point, any of us here on YouTube, on Twitter, anyone there could really say, hey, go and buy this thing and it's probably gonna do well, especially with how much hype there is in the market. So take that with a grain of salt. I don't claim to be uh, like some sort of know-it-all when it comes to these coins. I think you could really pick anything pull in some fundamentals and say, hey, this coin is going to do really well because X, Y, Z, it does well, and then you look like a hero. You know, it's just about finding something that looks reasonable and it's going to do reasonably well, depending how much boost it has underneath it, depending on how many people pump it on YouTube. It's probably going to depend on how big it pumps in the market. Ethereum bursts into list of top 100 assets in the world by market cap. This is just uh, getting more publicity, essentially. 140 billion. There you go, top 100. Are we gonna, it's, it's past a whole lot of US companies. Ethereum, 100, there you go. Ethereum entered the top 100 assets. Let's leave it off there and come back to this chart in the coming videos and just see where we are heading when it comes to Google Trend Words. This is gonna give us a bit of an indication. One last thing I'll leave with is we saw a top in June of 2017 and then it was an absolute fall crash into October before an even bigger peak came in December. I'm, I'm keeping that in mind in case we go through another thing like that where we start to boom, big pullback, goes quiet, that is the time to be in the market. And that's something that I wanted to mention on every video previous to this. And I'm leaving it till the very end for the guys who are really interested. Let me know in the comments if you've stayed to this this long and I, I'll know if you're paying attention. Uh, they are the times that we want to be in the markets. So if you get disillusioned at these times, markets fall, we're down for one to two months, three months, who knows, stay in the markets, keep watching daily. Uh, don't go anywhere because it might just be the first pullback and then you will miss it again and start buying in the next tops. Don't go anywhere. That's the worst thing you can do. I'm actually, I'm gonna make a video on that altogether. All right, so instead of, like uh, continue on with it I'm gonna make it for a separate video uh let me know you stuck around to the end and you understand that point time in the market is your best educator
That's what I've learned over 15 years. Time in the market has taught me so much more than trying to read books and rush all of my education at the peaks. Does not work. You will always fail. So stay in the market, keep watching content. Even if you have to fast forward through the videos and watch bits and pieces, just stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. All right, guys, thanks again. Like, share, subscribe, share it with a friend that should maybe need to hear something like this to get them in the markets. Thank you to you guys who've come across to Instagram. You know, I'm gonna do some uh, updates over there. I've got the course coming up as well. So hit me in my uh, email address, uh, sorry, YouTube, uh, far out, so many things, website, drop your email address there and come across to the course as well. And uh, let's continue the journey. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.